Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Bytes with Keshav. In this video, we will discuss about what is connection pooling and why should we use it. To start with, I would say connection pooling is a concept that emphasizes on using the same HTTP client object for making multiple HTTP requests. Right. So in, uh, in layman terms, I would start, uh, give an example. So imagine a scenario where uh, you would be needing a new car for every trip that, uh, that you would be going. I think that will not make much sense, right? Similarly, for get, uh, getting a new HTTP client object for every request that you make, each and every request, I think that should also be not a, a good uh, scenario or a good thing if we talk about performance from a performance perspective, right? So let's deep dive into it to see what is connection pooling and how to implement that. Now, as part of this code, we can see we have various functions defined as part, created as part of previous videos like get employee, get employees, get employee using uh, Jackson and then JSON based response and then things like that. Now, over here, as part of try with resources, it is making a call to request builder dot get okay HTTP client. If I come to definition of this function, it is giving us a new okay HTTP client object. That means for every new request we are getting, and this is used as multiple bases, four times. For all four calls, we will be getting a new client. Imagine the scenario, try to re uh, relate it with that. Getting, arranging a new car for every trip of yours. Right. Certainly uh, not a good uh, scenario uh, to realistic scenario, right. So. We should definitely not uh, go for this, but instead we should create a, uh, this uh, one time and then we should reuse that HTTP client, which in programming term, we call it as connection pooling. Now, as in a previous video I've discussed about try, in, try with resources, Objects, those are declared over here, will automatically memory to those will be deallocated the moment those the scope over there in scope of, when uh, scope of this try will be gone. So let us say over here the scope will be gone and after that the memory to those all will be lost. So now the memory to all those will be deallocated means to this also and then we have in, in, uh, we got this also right. So to memory to this also will be lost if you put it up, uh, as part of try with resources. So, so this will defeat the purpose of connection pooling using the same HTTP client. And then for another request, again, a new HTTP client will be created, right? So first thing is, ideally we should not declare or initial, uh, use this, uh, uh, initialize this as part of try with resources, right? And secondly, we should have generated once this OK HTTP client and use that instance to make multiple requests. That will satisfy the principle of connection pooling. So now I have that code snippet ready. I will quickly create that class that can be used over here. And then we will see how the connection pooling is uh, actually implementing using the same object. We can make the multiple requests. Okay, just a second. Let me use this snippet.
uh, instead of uh, hard coding or writing it one by one as part of the video i really emphasize on this uh, using code code snippet which i've already prepared earlier and directly using that so that we can as part of this video we can directly focus on this the uh, business functionality or the uh, topic that we are going to discuss right now coming back to the topic as part of this class we have declared with client ok http client right with this uh, certain properties like default timeout connection timeout 10 seconds and read timeout 30 seconds likewise we can have such certain more properties also as part of this right so now the thing that we want to change over here will be So firstly, as part of this, what we are going to do is so we will get a client from this class. This is like this already declared as it is static. So it will not create a new one every time. Okay. So, okay, uh, one thing was, uh, it is, uh, so static, uh, we are, it has been used so that we uh, uh, we can use it directly without insta uh, instantiating any object of this class. So for this, but rest assured, we uh, it will not create any and uh, different uh, purpose over here is that this uh, new memory allocation for every request should not be there. And then that we have to see it over here, right? So now I will step by step change it for each and every, all the functions that we have created. Instead of using this, we can use this this one right now same piece of code i will apply to all the functions those have been declared Now this hash code I am will uh, we will try to print and we will see that it will should be the same for all uh, for all the method calls that are being made and means for as part of this uh, object client object. This will ensure that for every request we don't have a new uh, hash code. Hash code will correspond to that memory address, right? Okay, let's see whether now we can see that we don't have any usage for the usage of this method. And we, if we talk about this, I believe it was having usages, uh, usages of four times, right? So let's see. Same four now are linked with this now, this method, uh, this uh, object, right? Okay. So Okay, this. Okay, now this class and then this uh, field. Now we have to check whether this is uh, okay, so, uh, solving a purpose or not. Now to uh, verify this scenario, what I will do is.
as part of each function before returning we will just quickly verify whether the hash code of that client is same in all the functions if hash code is same then we can confirm that the same client was used to http client was used to call the, all those make all those requests right okay now i will run all these test cases in debug mode and then let's see the value of that hash code of a uh, hash code of that particular client right field that we declared and that are we it, uh, whether it is being getting reused and then whether it is not creating a new memory for each and every request okay this is get employees okay as part of get employees we are getting for this particular client we are getting a hash code of ending with 452 okay let's get to the next one second method hash code same 452 okay next one hash code same 452 same memory address same client that we are using reusing the same same 452 all four methods now are using the same hash code thus we are trying in simple terms we have implemented using the same car for every trip using the same http client for multiple request now ideally there should be a no uh, there will be a no scenario that we will be making further changes to customize this because in as part of okay http client connection pooling is automatically enabled and like we saw that we are we have used it perfectly with no problems and it it uh, it it can handle also that in case of concurrency also concurrent request it should work fine but in certain cases in uh, certain app enterprise applications it may be a scenario when concurrent request per second may be in, in hundreds or thousands right in that case we can consider customizing this connection pooling as part of when we are defining this variable of what type okay http client so when we will do it like this we have certain properties right so over here we can define so by default connection uh, pool size is there which is idle connections uh, to keep it over here so it is just like uh, when we go for try uh, tr uh, when try block when the http request has been made and then that a uh, client uh, variable is again allotted uh, comes back to the free pool right and when that comes back to the free pool then ideally it uh, it has been defined it will define that uh, default idle connection size should be 5 right so now in case we want to uh, uh, customize that so we can customize that also we have connection pool right so similarly we can uh, if uh, the the requirement over customization over here like we discussed will come only when in case of enterprise application where we can consider like uh, hundreds of uh, concurrent requests per second or thousands so only that scenario or else uh, i believe it should be working fine with a uh, normal use cases of concurrent request right 
So, I think this was all for this uh, part, as part of connection pooling. Uh, we often, uh, I believe we often forget to use it, but it is a very important concept that we should keep in mind. And yeah, so uh, not to, and uh, even if we are using this and then we have to please ensure that we don't include it as part of try with the resources block, right? So now, yes, because else what will happen is when this block will end up, then that uh, connection that will, uh, instead of al uh, aligning it with the, uh, adding it back to the connection pool, it will be closed. Right. So that way the purpose of connection pooling will be defeated. So here, instead of making it like this, I declare it like this and then uh, to use it like, and uh, the over purpose was to, uh, to uh, show you the hash code. Else if the hash code is, uh, I think, believe not uh, to be used, we can directly use this static uh, variable we can directly call paste it over here and comment this out right why to have a separate variable for this that that is pointing to this thing right all right so that was all for this video if you have any comments as uh, uh, queries you can please uh, post your comment in your uh, the comments part and you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. Alright, till then, uh, stay connected. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.